Hello, I'm Charlie Adam. I'm gonna show you now how I did mosquito with long play for NC Records. Well, at the beginning it was Longplay who came to my house with this bass beat. I was like, oh, it sounds really good. Then I start to put in some melody to it. And I start playing with the sounds and I came up with this uh, really simple melody. I don't know, it sounds kind of funny for me. It came to my mind that it sounded like a mosquito was trying to bite you. So we started uh, working all the, all the track around the idea of the mosquito. I played this uh, sound of zoom, like a mosquito, just before the drop. And it was because uh, long play, he plays like this sound, bah! you know, at the first note of the drop, it, bah! so uh, I thought, I, okay, it sounds like he's, bah! you know, killing the mosquito like this. So why don't we put the sound of the mosquito like that? Then I told him like, can we make the uh, build up? You know that there is always like a lead that woo -doo -woo -doo, it's rising, you know, the, the rise up. And I told him like, can you do it? Like it sounds like a mosquito, like like you know, it's getting closer to you. And then he started tweaking, you know, the pitch to make it uh, you know and um, sound like a mosquito and and now I want to show you in the computer uh, a little bit of more uh, technical details about the track so let's go okay. so we started with uh, this kick and this one this is a reference track. I took this one for the bass. Yeah, the bass and the leads. Uh, we use this one to compare uh, our mixing, you know? Uh, I have it here in mute. And when I want to listen to it, I just click solo. Uh, so, okay, we have this, uh, the kick, uh, then we have the bass which is uh, some layers of this. As you can see, we have many bases here. This is a sub bass. This is like a, a mid low bass. Then we have the percussive ones. And we have some, um, this is the sound I told you that it sounds like a fly. Like, you know, and uh, all these kind of, um, field sounds for the bass and we have another uh, kind of sounds no percussive sounds uh, here we have the mosquito sound and some uh, fields so this is the bass mm, we have uh, OTT I love this one I use it for my groups uh, and kick start like this is the bass and the sub, so we need a, a little bit more space there. Um, for the leads, uh, we have this group. We use this pack from Steve Aoki, I think it's really good. I don't know if you have it, Aoki Sounds preset pack. I think it's really dope. You know, uh, some of the sounds really modern and well done. I don't think I move anything about it. Yeah, we only have this. You know that that kind of feel sounds. You know, and the... Oh, it changes. So, this is the first sound. And then this one. Which is also from the Steve Aoki pack. This is a uh, chocolate. Okay, we have this one, which is from Nexus. Uh, I want to show you that I have the new Nexus, which is really, really good plugin. I recommend you to get this because it's really good. Um, and this is the cashmere pack. You know, 
everybody knows the cashmere sounds they're really dope and this uh, nexus uh, sound of cashmere is also really good um, this is brass indian brass tap which is sounds Okay, we have the, the vocal here. The breakdown. Okay, we have many stuff here. I told um, Longplay to add too many effects to this part because we want it to be really full. So we have this alarm. We have this other sound. Is this one? It's a really simple sound. It's just an operator, you know. Uh, sine wave and with a reverb just with a little bit of glide so it sounds like someone is uh, whistling we have this we have this um nexus this one is from EDM3. I have EDM3, EDM4, EDM5. No, this I use them very much. And we also have this one, but this this is mute. Um, glitches. Okay, and this is the interesting part about the build-up. Is this scent? Which is, I think we made it from scratch. Yeah, just a, a simple uh, saw tooth. But we made this kind of automation. This was on 12. I don't know why is it... Uh, yeah. So you can see. Just random pitching up and down, but always keeping up. So it makes this sound like a mosquito. Because it's a really uh, simple sound, as you can see. Just a sort of wave. One. No, no effects, no anything. But it sounds really in your face. Um, yeah, uh, for the intro. Yeah, this one is also a mosquito sound. It's this one. Simple um, automation, you know, to make it um, like a mosquito is. And uh, we have the high cut here. And yeah, it's also a very simple sound. Uh, sound toots. This, uh, this is two. And some effects here. Actually, I think I got this from, yeah, maybe a modification of um, this pack. But it's also a really simple sound. Yeah, it's another one. Sample from Mandalock, come on. Yeah, and for the master, um, well, this is just automation. I don't, I only use this for uh, turning it mono to listen to it uh, while mono. So this is. I always put like multiband compression at the end. You know, um, sometimes I use this, sometimes I use the OT. Uh, I think it glues all together, and I can bring the bass a little bit more uh, in this part so yeah it's, I think it's good uh, this one is for automations for some volumes but um, mostly for this bass mono thing we can do this with a an EQ uh, mid side but yeah, I think this is easier uh, mostly uh, 
I used to use this as a limiter, but I noticed that it makes it, it loses some kind of low end when you put this as a limiter. So now I use this, uh, which I think is really dope and it's really clean. So I rather use this rather than this because this is really cool plugin. I use it now for um, adding distortion to my to everything. You know, you can add distortion to the drums, to the vocals, to the um, groups. But as a limiter, I think that whole track it loses low end if you put this. So this one is cleaner. You know, um, so that would be it. Well, guys, this is it. I hope you learned something. I'm gonna be uploading tutorials into my YouTube channel. So don't forget to follow me, Charlie Adam, and I hope you enjoy. See you.